Hey guys, Nerd King 101 here, and today we are going to be discussing the upcoming Captain Marvel movie. This isn't so much as a trailer breakdown as much as me talking about why I'm slightly worried about this movie. First of all, before we get into any of that, I just want to say I love strong female characters. I actually think seeing movies, anime, TV shows, whatever, with strong female leads is refreshing and different from the typical strong male protagonist that we see in almost every story. I find it refreshing and I'm a huge supporter of movie, TV, and TV series and anime, including more strong female characters. Now with that said, Captain Marvel is the least optimistic I've been for a Marvel movie in a very long time. First of all, while the MCU doesn't lean on the comics too heavily, I mean Thor is a clown in the movies, and in the comics he's nothing like that. He's actually pretty serious in the comics. But I am still slightly concerned about Captain Marvel, because if we're being honest with ourselves, Captain Marvel isn't a very well-liked character. People don't like her right now. I mean, it pretty much generally agreed upon by everyone that Civil War 2 kind of ruined her character in the comics. Her origin is super confusing and her history in and of itself is really weird and kind of hard to wrap your head around. She's also part of some really weird story. Does Avenger 200 ring any bells? She's just not accessible or even very likable in the comics. And honestly, this is the first time in a long time when looking at the actor or actress, in this case, portraying the main character in one of these MCU movies, that I'm actually hesitant in saying I think they were a good choice. While I have nothing against Brie Larson personally, when watching both trailers, I can't help but feel that she seemed kind of stale or bland. She just kind of seemed lame, like she's not really getting me into it. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's that really cool thing where she's flying in space, blowing shit up with energy blasts, and she's in that energy form. That got me hyped while watching the trailer, but just the actual character and, like, her interaction with Nick Fury, I'm just not getting behind. I'm actually a lot more interested in the Nick Fury stuff in this than I am in anything else. I find him more interesting. I mean, I'm interested in Captain Marvel on a character level, but on a level as then do I find the character interesting based on the way the actor is portraying them, I don't really find her interesting. The way Brie Larson portrayed Kara Danvers or Captain Marvel is really stale and bland, and when I look at her, I just don't get excited in the same way I did when I saw Tom Holland show up in Spider-Man for the first time, or something along those lines. I just don't feel that instant, this is a good actor, this was the right choice, this is going to work. It could be partly due to the fact that everybody just dying to see Avengers 4, but honestly, I feel that there is a a lot less hype around Captain Marvel than there had been around other Marvel movies. Even new ones with new characters like Doctor Strange have always had a lot of hype around that and this movie just doesn't seem to do that. Like, they released the trailer and then you go on the Marvel Reddit, people kind of stop talking about it after like a day. Normally I honestly wouldn't be this worried about the first solo movie of one of the characters when they're being introduced because normally I would say, well then you could always just put them in the back burner if they fail, but Captain Marvel is being put in the new Iron Man of the MCU. She's going to have a massive role in Avengers 4, she's being made more powerful than she is in the comics, and once again, Kevin Feige has said he wants her to lead the MCU in the future. So the future of the MCU really rides on people liking Kara Danvers, on people finding her character engaging and interesting, and I'm just honestly worried worried that that's going to fail, because based off of the trailer, I'm not very invested in Cara Danvers as a character. The trailer is just unable to get me to care about her, and there's already been two of them. I'm more interested in basically everything else that's going on in the movie. I'm incredibly interested in what's going on with the Skrull and the Kree, specifically the Skrulls, because some people think they're still on Earth in the process of infiltrating the government in the current timeline. I'm not sure, but I find the whole thing incredibly fascinating. I've always found the idea of the Skrull invasion. I love Secret Invasion as the concept in the comments, and if the Skrull invasion is something that has always 
interest. Of course, probably my biggest interest in the movie is the question of whether or not Captain Marvel is the person Nick Fury referred to in Winter Soldier when he said, last time I trusted somebody, I lost an eye. Like, did he lose it because something happened with Captain Marvel? Did a scroll transform into Captain Marvel and wound Nick Fury and mess up the relationship? I'm not sure what happened, but stuff like that is more interesting to me than anything involving Captain Marvel. Like, they're setting up this whole mystery with her past and her backstory, but with the way Brie Larson is portraying the character, I just can't get behind it because the way her acting is stale. I suppose that would be the best way of describing how I see it. I see her acting as stale, boring, flat. Obviously, I haven't seen the movie. I love the MCU. I love these movies. And I really hope it's good. But I am concerned that it could not be very successful or that Brie Larson may not be able to carry the MCU in the way Robert Downey Jr. had. But either way, tell me what you thought of the previous two trailers in the comment section down below. Are you worried about the movie? Are you super into this version of Captain Marvel? Are you worried they'll make her completely unlikable like in the comics? I'm not sure, but tell me all your thoughts on the trailer and the movie in general and Captain Marvel in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed. You can follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description box down below. And you can subscribe for future Marvel videos as well as my anime and manga content. I will be doing a video on the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer when that drops in the future. However, as of the recording of this video, I have no idea when that trailer is dropping. It was supposed to drop on the 8th of December at 2 p.m., but it got delayed. Some people are saying December 18th, so maybe that's what I'll do the video. But I don't know. I would like to say that I do have a big Marvel Cinematic Universe video project in the works that should be done in a couple of months. You will probably be seeing it a week or two before Avengers 4 comes out. It's a massive project that's going to take a month to do. I'm already starting it, and it's going to take a long time, and it's probably going to be a really, really long video. But guys, above all else, I hope you have a fantastic day.